Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem, append characters to string to make subsequence. So this is a relatively simple problem, at least the solution is. The only thing you might struggle with is why does it work and just kind of justifying that. So if we can do that successfully, we should be able to make pretty quick work of this problem. So let's get into it. We're given two strings S and T. So consider these two strings over here. We want to know, is T a subsequence of S? And if you don't know what a subsequence is, that's very, very important to this problem. So the idea is that given any string like this, we can just pick some characters from that string and we preserve the relative order of those characters. And then when we combine all of them, the subsequence we get, let's say in this case is C H G, right? Just any subset of characters and then preserve the order. Or you could think about it in terms of like remove some characters and then see what you have left. And that is the subsequence. So it's not super complicated. With every character, we have a choice of whether to include it or not include it. So if T is a subsequence of the string S, in that case, we're going to return zero. If it's not a subsequence of S, we want to know how many characters do we have to add to the end of S so that T is then a subsequence of S. So not only does S need to have every single one of these characters in it, if we want to be able to form this as a subsequence, but the relative order of those characters has to also be there. They're actually making our lives pretty easy by telling us that we can only append characters to the end of S. Because watch this. First of all, if you don't know how to solve this problem, the easy way to start is just check, is T a subsequence of S? How would we even know that? Well, we'd have to basically get every single one of these characters. So let's initialize a pointer here at the beginning of T. We're looking for a C in the string S. So let's also initialize a pointer in that string. So here we see that we do find the C character. So we found a match. So now we want to find the next character O and we want to find it in the remaining portion of the string after this character. So then we move our pointer there and immediately we already find the character. That's great. So now we found O. So now the next character we're looking for is D. We want to find every one of these characters in this string in this relative order. The only problem is that while all three of these characters exist over here, there's not a single D character. There's not a single one. So we'll iterate over the rest of this string. We'll see, okay, is there a D here? Nope. Is there one here? Nope. Here, 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 nope. So we don't find anything. Obviously, this is not a subsequence of this string. So now if we were allowed to add characters, say in the middle of this string, we would probably say, let's go ahead and add a D, not here and definitely not here. Let's add it somewhere over here, like any of these positions. Let's put a D over there, because if we do that, then obviously this string can be found as a subsequence of this one, because we'll have a D and then we'll have these remaining characters in that order. But like I said, that's kind of complicated because then we'd have to know, like, where do we put the D? We'd have a bunch of choices of where to put it, but they made our lives very easy for us. They told us we're only allowed to append characters. Okay, we couldn't find a D. So go ahead and take that D and add a D over here. Great. Now we're looking for I n g and it doesn't matter that they're already over here because they have to be in the same relative order like i said so now we're going to add the i here we're going to add the n here and we're going to add the g here because if we weren't able to find this character of course we have to append it to the end of the string and there's nothing going to be after that character unless we append more characters so we can basically just append the rest of these characters to the end of the string in other words the solution to the problem is pretty simple Either we find the entire string, in which case our pointer will stop over here, or our pointer will stop somewhere in the middle of string T. In that case, it's just going to be the remaining characters that we would add there anyway. So this would be the result. This is the number of characters we have to append to be able to find the subsequence. In terms of how we're going to calculate it, you can basically think of it like this. Let's say these are the indices of each character. And so the length of this string is six. Obviously, six is over here. That's not like an, a valid index. So if our pointer stopped over here, or let's make it more simple, let's say our pointer stopped here, right? We were able to build the entire string. We would return zero. The calculation would be length of t minus our pointer, whatever it happened to be. Let's call it j. And that would be the result. It would evaluate to zero. If we did not, 
and we maybe left off over here at index two, we would say length of t minus index two, which would be four, because that is the remaining number of characters. Six minus two is four. So this is how we're gonna code it up. This is a two pointer solution. So time complexity is just gonna be iterating over the length of both of these strings. Let's say that's big O of S plus T and space complexity is constant. We just have a couple pointers. Let's code it up. First thing I'm gonna initialize are two pointers. We could give them more descriptive names, but I think this problem is easy enough that we don't really need to. The condition, I guess we didn't really talk about that in the drawing explanation, but we can probably stop when either of the pointers goes out of bounds, right? If we run out of characters from S, then there's nothing left to compare. And if we run out of characters from T, then we've pretty much found the entire string and we found like the subsequence, so we don't really need to do anything anymore. So basically check that I is in bounds, that's gonna be the pointer for S. And let's also check that J is in bounds, that's gonna be the pointer for T. Now two cases, either the characters are equal, so S at index I is equal to T at index J, in which case we can just increment both of the pointers. So that's easy, I plus one, J plus one. The else case is gonna be a bit more interesting. In that case, we're still looking for a character to match this character in T. So let's just increment the I pointer like this. So we're still looking for a character here. Let's try the next character in string S. And then by the time we're done, we can just return the length of T minus wherever the J pointer left off. If we reach the end, this will be zero. If not, it'll compute the number of characters remaining in string T. So let's run that. And as you can see, it's not very efficient, actually. The memory is pretty good, but the runtime isn't. I'm just gonna try that again. And now you can see it's a lot more efficient, but obviously this is pretty random. I'm not gonna spend my whole day here. If you found this helpful, check out neatcode.io for a lot more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.